Okay, here we go, week five. Everybody's graduated up to the kitchen, which is fairly significant. They're all eating solids. Now they're starting to get into different places to play, and I have an escape artist already. All right, so right here we have Tadeo. No, I'm sorry, that's Keppa. Hard to tell from the back. We're all a little full right now. Hang on, I gotta get Pepita, my little escape artist. Pepita! What are you, little stinker? Oh, you won't be able to do that long. We have Otto, who oh, is trying to get that piece of PVC. They absolutely love this PVC, just as an FYI. Cheap, cheap, cheap thing at the hardware store. Let me get that out of there so they don't keep. Okay, here, guys. Very easy to do, and the dogs love it. You can see uh, they are in the kitchen. It's cordoned off. They're still a little too little. I have a PVC play gym that I made for them, which they absolutely love. We have Tasha and Pepita. Is that Pepita? No, I'm sorry. That's uh, uh, Keppa. They're drinking water now. Tasha, what are you doing? What are you doing? You feisty girl. What are you doing? We have Pepita. No, I'm sorry, that's today. I'm sorry, the cream ones are hard to tell. That's why they still have the bands on. What are you doing today, Elf? They are starting to crate train. Uh, you'll notice I have a, it's nothing expensive, just cheap um, tablecloth over the, um, over the <laughs> crate. We have Kai and Uncle Henry. Henry and Daddy are out here watching. Daddy's still not so sure. Henry, on the other hand, thinks these guys are kind of cool, and Henry will hang out a little bit more, but there's Daddy in the background. Kai thinks they're awful cool. I also have, sorry about all the flipping around. You notice I'm using baby toys. There's a reason for that. Um, the parts are harder for them to chew up. Um, and there's a lot of research done on the stimulation with different... Um, sights and smells and textures and things like that. Um, we're working, <laughs> here we go with the sock. Who is this? This is Kappa, the sock. They love the socks. Um, those are fresh socks. They've never been worn. You do not ever, ever, ever want to give a dog a sock and tie it in a knot and let them play with it because they will associate the smell of you. Even if you wash it like crazy, they will still smell you on it and they will eat all your good socks. So the best bet is to get a brand new pair of tube socks, tie some knots in it. I wash them um, every day. Uh, I rotate. I, have a, I just bought a pack of ten, so there's like five or so I use every day, and then I just throw it in the wash. Um, when they start teething, when you get them, you're going to want to um, just soak them down with water and then freeze them, and your puppy will absolutely love it. I promise you it will get you through teething with almost no problem. Um, they like the cold, and they like the texture of the knots to be able to try to uh, pull out those baby teeth. Today I was really going to town on that. Ow! Their teeth are extremely sharp right now. Um, they love feet. Um, they love to bite your feet, but if you react, you'll make them bite more. So the best bet is to not yelp. Just quietly push them away, and off you go. All right, I've got Keppa over here going at my toes, so apologize for that. Um, they do all like to sleep together. Um, the divider, I don't need right the second because all six of them will go into the crate together, um, but I do have the divider for myself as well. Um, you're going to want that. You're going to keep it like a cave-like. If they have the opportunity, I have a, uh, a wire mesh shelf here. You'll see all the PVC pieces there. Um, they will go under the wire shelf instead of going into the crate because it's more cave-like. Um, so the cave aspect for training your dog is really, really important. It's a natural... It's a natural... Pepita, did you get out again? Stinker. You notice, little escape artist. She won't be able to do that much longer. Um, by next week, she'll be a pound bigger. And she won't be able to squeeze through. Is that Tasha? Where's Tasha? Hi, Tasha. At least she comes right back in. You are a little stinker. Yes, you are a little stinker. Um, they're very social. They are extremely loving. All of them um, seem to be very... Um, <laughs> I can't quite get away to uh, to film them. They all want to come to me, which is great. But um, they all seem to be very um, well-adjusted. They're doing really well with the uh, potty training. You notice I have a mat out. 
Um, I have one for you that I'll, they're kind of ratty because as they get older, obviously they're chewing them up. So I have one that I'll send home with you with your puppy so it'll smell like the house and smell like mom and whatnot. Um, you're not going to want to wash that if you can avoid it, uh, especially not with like bleach or anything. Just let it smell for a few weeks until your puppy acclimates to being in a new surrounding. Um, the other thing that we're working really heavily on is um, uh, sound desensitization. So a couple times a day they are getting bombarded with sounds of thunder and rain, chainsaws, cars honking, babies screaming. Um, the radio is blaring, especially talk radio. Uh, we bounce back and forth between rock stations and country and classic and all that. We're doing that very deliberately. Um, the younger the puppies are and the more sounds they get um, sensitized to, um, the better evolved they will be. They will be more secure, they will be less reactive, and they will be happier. Um, so they do uh, have a, when I put them to bed at night, um, I do play the uh, CD for them in, in, in its entirety. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. There's uh, clapping, there's a chainsaw, there's um, the wailing of horns and sirens, fireworks. Um, mine are very much afraid of fireworks. They were not desensitized when I got them. Um, so mine do, especially Lucia, is terrified of fireworks and things like that. So it was kind of funny. You can hear her wailing and she can hear the CD because she doesn't like it. Um, but your puppy will be fine with it. I'm going to keep doing it every day, uh, multiple times a day, until uh, until there's no reaction. And they're handling it really, really well. They're, um, they're quite playful. They did all just eat, so I'm waiting for them to go into their uh, I'm fed drunk place, but they're not quite there yet. They want to play first. So this is what you're going to want to do, just like I'm doing right now. You're going to want to feed them, you're going to want to let them play, and then you're going to want to crate them. And then as soon as you're done crating them, um, right now at five weeks, I mean, they can really only last about an hour, maybe two, if they're not sleeping before they have to go to the bathroom. Um, I'm not going to close the door because I don't want them to associate the crate with anything bad right now. I literally just put the crate in the kitchen yesterday. So I'm going to um, wait a little bit longer before we start doing the timed um, stays. But this is going to be the pan you're going to want to go into. You're going to feed them, you're going to let them play, and then you're going to crate them. And then you're going to take them out of the crate and go down to go to the bathroom immediately. You're not going to play. You're not going to say go, nothing. You're going to go straight to going potty. Then you should have some free time without them needing to go potty. Um, so you're going to want to stick to that schedule. And I'll show you a couple of tips of how to get your puppy to go to the bathroom on command when you go outside. It's actually quite easy. Or you're really going to just mimic mom. And you little stinker, Pepita. i got to cure her of peeing in the crate. That's going to take a little bit of time, but... Um, so they're doing really well. Um, no complaints. Um, you know, there's six of them and one of me, so it's a very busy right now. Um, lots of messes to clean up, but that will get a lot better when there's not so many of them. Um, any questions, give me an email. Otherwise, um, they're doing really well, and we're working on tempers. Their personalities are... Lucia! Their, temp their personalities are really, really coming out. Very distinct differences in their personalities. Um, I could see a lot of the personalities in the beginning. Um, a couple of them, I was questioning which direction they were going to go, but they're coming out of their shells very, very nicely now. So the sensitization training is definitely working. Um, so I'm very hopeful over the next uh, three weeks or so, I'm going to see uh, a lot more growth. And um, the, uh, the quieter ones, I think, are going to come out of their shell a little bit more. Um, they're still very social and very sweet. They're just not quite as confident yet, but the more they... Uh, the more they hear, the more they see, and the more they experience, the more confident they'll get. And then we got our little Spitfire Tasha here. She has no worries. She's definitely the leader of the pack. No doubt about it. She is not, she's not strayed yet, so she's definitely the leader. Um, but anyway, like I said, any questions, give me a call or give me an email, and I will give you an update next week. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.